John Freeman, The Tyranny of Email, The 4,000-Year Journey to Your Inbox. In The Tyranny of Email, The 4,000-Year Journey to Your Inbox, John Freeman uncovers the history of communication and its impact on society as well as individual lives. The book highlights the evolution of written communication, from ancient empires to today's modern email system, and explains how the digital world has dramatically changed our communication habits and affected our cognitive abilities, relationships, and work lives. Throughout the book, readers will not only learn fascinating historical anecdotes about our ever-changing methods of reaching out to others, but also gain valuable insights into the darker side of our dependence on email. Masters of Information Throughout history, powerful groups have used communication to exert control. The Catholic Church and governments were the primary dispensers of information for centuries. Empires used communication to consolidate power, with messages traveling at the speed of 100 miles per day as early as 600 BC in the Persian Empire. Sending mail was costly, and only 5 to 10 percent of the adult population in Britain could read or write in the year 1500. People also lacked fixed addresses, which made it hard for letters to end up in the right place. Access to long-distance communication only became widely available at the end of the 19th century. The Evolution of Mail Services Mail services were not always accessible to the common people, but with education reform and literacy campaigns, they became more widespread. The popularity of postcards grew quickly in the late 1800s, with some even calling it an epidemic. The British Royal Mail employed over 42,000 people and had over 12,000 offices by 1873. The U.S. Congress even experimented with using camels to deliver mail. Mail became a regular part of people's lives, with the average American sending 69 letters a year. People used mail for various purposes, including staying in touch with friends and family and even sending nonsense items to each other. Communication styles changed, with the first forms of online flaming appearing in 1871 and some people receiving early forms of spam as early as 1887. The Telegraph's Impact on Communication the telegraph revolutionized communication, making faraway places accessible for the first time in history. It drastically reduced the time it took to send news, and enemies even started small talk with each other. However, the telegraph also brought on the first era of information overload, with people having unprecedented access to news and communication. William James coined the term Americanitis to describe the anxiety caused by the telegraph, as people feared missing out on something. Newspapers printed larger editions, covering news from all over the world, and started printing daily instead of weekly. Nevertheless, not everyone liked this development, as some felt it was becoming the voice of the world rather than a record of the community. The Evolution of Communication Email has revolutionized communication by making it faster, easier, and virtually free of cost. Before email, People had to write addresses manually and send them individually, while telegrams were costly. Despite the benefits of email, it has resulted in a constant barrage of messages and interruptions, leading to added stress and pressure to be constantly available. The Addictive Nature of Email Email presents a digital form of communication that creates an addiction with physical world problems. To one's brain, email operates like a drug. Checking one's email produces behavioral problems. Positive emails validate and induce further checking, which only creates more addiction. Email withdrawal results in distress and anxiety. Our brains are not equipped for the challenges of email, the repetitive behavior of compulsive email checking has been proven to cause imbalances in dopamine levels. It negatively affects memory as well by directing our brain's attention away from retaining information. Emails provide little information to our prefrontal cortex that is responsible for appropriate emotional communication, leading to misunderstanding. Adolescents who develop email addictions may also form permanent issues with communication. The Impact of Email on Our Daily Life Emails, a major disruption in our daily lives, have a significant negative impact on our emotions, behavior, 
and relationships. According to psychologist Christina Maslach, email brings out the symptoms of burnout, leaving us exhausted, depersonalized, and drained. We read fewer books due to email, and our eye movements have changed, making us skimmers instead of readers. Sleep patterns have also taken a hit as our need to always stay connected leads to less sleep. Madonna and Guy Ritchie's smartphone habits and eventual divorce are an example of how technology impacts relationships. Bruce Melman confessed to sacrificing quality time with his son for email, which eventually led to bad trade-offs. It's time to realize the detrimental effects of email on our lives and health and make conscious decisions about how to use it effectively. Overcoming Email Addiction Email has become addictive and controlling our lives. However, it is possible to control and manage it efficiently. The first step is to limit the frequency of checking emails. Establish a specific time for checking emails and avoid checking them first thing in the morning or last thing at night. Another effective strategy is to reduce the amount of email use. It is essential to write emails concisely with an efficient subject line and encourage others to do the same. Offline tools such as phone calls and meetings are preferable for sensitive and group discussions. Lastly, rearrange your desk for a comfortable balance between computers, paper, and pens. John Freeman's The Tyranny of Email takes us on a captivating journey through the evolution of communication, illustrating its transformation from an exclusive tool of empires and religions to the ever-accessible dominant email system that has become an integral part of our everyday lives. While email provides undeniable benefits such as ease, speed, and convenience, it also comes at a cost. This manifests particularly in its addictive nature, interruptions to productivity, negative effects on mental health and relationships, and reduced attention spans. The book encourages us to carefully consider our relationship with email and find an effective balance between digital and face-to-face -face communication, helping us to regain control of our lives and our connections with others.